Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about where the stock market is headed in the future and what we can do right now to make some money. I know a lot of you may be feeling a bit hesitant to jump back into the stock market after the bear market of the past year, but let me tell you, now is the time to start buying. We will be analyzing an article by Morningstar titled, Why Stock Investors Shouldn't wait for the good news to start buying. We're going to take a look at the market trends to see if a recession is on the horizon for 2023, and most importantly, we will figure out which stocks and ETFs we should be investing in to make some serious money to beat the market. Now, sure, there may be some analysts and are some analysts that are predicting a rough year for stocks in the first half of 2023, but the director of Fidelity Investments says that all of that is just noise. The director says that we should be focusing on stock valuations and whether or not stocks that are currently trading at a discount can rebound to give us some fantastic returns throughout the year of 2023 or 2024. So don't wait for the good news for the market to rebound because once it does rebound, you have then missed your opportunity to make the most money. When it comes to investing in the stock market, timing is everything. Clearly time in the market normally beats timing the market, but right now could be one of the best times to invest more. If we just take a look at the historical performance of the market around periods of various recessions, we will see that 75% of the gains are posted by the time the recession is officially over. So if you're waiting for good news and for the market to rebound before you start to invest again, then you have already missed out and you are in the wrong headspace. The key is to invest while the stock market is down. That way, when it inevitably rebounds, you are in a great position to make money. And let me tell you, there are plenty of opportunities for stock investors to take advantage of right now. Currently, I think there are investments that are worth paying attention to. For example, mid-cap stocks, materials stocks, specifically material stocks revolving around metals and mining, financial stocks, and consumer cyclical stocks should all perform very well after the next six months, which means during the six-month time period, we should be investing into these investments so once they rebound, we can make a load of money. We will be diving deeper into these investments later in the video, and I'll also be sharing some specific ETFs that you can invest into right now to make a lot of money. But before we get into that, let's talk a bit more about the potential recession and a more severe market crash. Many investors are of the belief that the market right now has already factored in an economic downturn. This is because the market is future looking. So the market has already priced in a recession and therefore the stock market experienced a significant decline. From the market's peak back in January of 2022 to its lows in mid-October, stocks lost nearly 25% of their value according to the indexes. All right, now let's talk about some specific investments that we can make right now to earn some money. Starting off, let's talk about mid-cap stocks. This presents an opportunity with some of the highest odds of outperforming the market compared to large-cap stocks or small-cap stocks. While small-cap stocks may seem cheaper, and and they are a pure recovery play, mid-cap stocks have stronger valuations to support them through times of economic and stock market volatility. The relative price-to-book and price-to-earnings ratios on mid-cap stocks compared favorably to large-cap stocks and they are currently at their lowest levels since the early 2000s. This means that they are trading at a huge discount and who wouldn't want to buy great stocks at a cheap price? Some good mid-cap ETFs to consider investing into would include ticker symbol VO, ticker symbol IJH, and one of my personal favorites, ticker symbol IWR. These ETFs offer a way to diversify your portfolio and gain exposure to a variety of mid-cap stocks. 
Another great way to invest and to make money is through basic materials stocks. Typically, basic materials are seen as a sector to avoid during a recession because they are highly sensitive to economic cycles. However, currently they are looking quite cheap. This means that investors can look beyond the potential of a negative recession and instead position their portfolios for an eventual recovery regarding the stock market. This is particularly true for metals and mining stocks, which are currently at their lowest levels relative to their valuations and accounting ratios. This means that the odds of outperformance are significant for these particular types of stocks. If we look at data going back to 1976, we can see in that time when metals and mining stocks were this cheap, the sector outperformed the market by almost 15% following the next 12 months. Next, we have financial stocks, which I am currently investing into heavily. This is a sector that's particularly vulnerable to recessions and rising unemployment. But despite this vulnerability, financial stocks have actually outperformed the broader market by an average of 5% during the 12-month time frame after its relative forward PE landed in the bottom quartile of its historic range. So what does that mean? Essentially, after a big pullback in the financial sector, we can see finance stocks tend to outperform the market over the next year, and that's exactly what we are experiencing right now. So during this time of a stock market pullback, now would be the time to invest into this particular sector. Right now, financials aren't just in the bottom quartile of their historic value range regarding their relative price to book and relative price to earnings ratios, but they're also in the bottom 10%. This means they are currently significantly cheaper than they were during the great financial crisis. Some great financial investments to consider would be ETFs such as ticker symbol XLF, ticker symbol VFH, and ticker symbol KRE just to name a few. Another great investment opportunity can be found in consumer cyclical stocks. Similar to financials and materials, consumer cyclical stocks tend to get hit hard during recessions and often move well in advance and recover toward the tail end of the recession. Currently, consumer cyclical stocks are trading at their lowest relative price to book and price to earnings levels since the 1970s. This means that the sector has a 65% to a 75% chance of outperforming the overall market throughout the next 12 months. With valuations in the bottom decile, some good ETFs to consider investing into regarding this segment would be ticker symbol XLY ticker symbol VCR, and ticker symbol FDIS. Lastly, I want to mention energy stocks and technology stocks. Now, I personally would be cautious when investing into energy stocks, mainly because green energy stocks are very disruptive. So investing into coal mining companies or various gas and oil companies may not be the best opportunity, but there are still some good ETFs that act as a basket of stocks to hold these types of investments, such as ticker symbol XLE. On the other hand, I'm a big fan of technology stocks, which have been beaten down in price, and I believe technology stocks are widely undervalued right now. So I will continue to invest into ETFs such as QQQ, which are heavily invested into technology companies. All in all, you don't want to miss out on investing while the stock market is down, because that is going to lead to the greatest future returns. Even if we do end up going into a full-on economic recession, which is very negative, and the share price of multiple of our favorite stocks crash, why wouldn't we want to buy these stocks and companies at a cheaper price and valuation so eventually when they rebound, we will be able to make loads of money. In the end, there you have it. These are the best portfolio moves to make right now over the next year and year and a half. Not only will these investments fortify your portfolio, but they will also set up your portfolio for success over the long term, at least over the next few years, even if a recession occurs. For more videos just like this one, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.